Howdy guys, I'm Jason and today on Auto Edits, I'm gonna show you how to bleed your anti-lock braking systems module on your somewhat modern vehicle. And that task requires one specific tool that's unique to this, and that's a bi-directional scan or diagnostic tool. And I'll be using this VD70S I just recently got. And that just means we actually have to activate the anti-lock braking system's pump on this thing to help bleed that thing. And so that's, that's a unique tool for this task. I'll put a link to that in the description. Now, if you wanna get right to the instruction and the action, I put the chapters down below so you can jump right to that. But let me quickly explain the diagnosis and the symptoms of what might facilitate a ABS bleed. It's different than a regular brake bleed. An example, the vehicle we'll be working on today is this 2013 Range Rover Sport. Got it a little over a year ago, and it had always had a very long, kind of spongy pedal, but the brakes have always worked actually superbly on this thing. Now they, it, this vehicle needed brakes, so I put a whole set of PowerStop Z36 pads and rotors, and then a month after that, I did a full brake fluid flush, thinking I could still get that pedal better, the pedal, the pedal feel better. I put a quart of brake fluid through this thing, just bled it to the best of my abilities. The pedal never changed. It was always long and soft. It was so weird to say. And the thing that leads me to believe as my, in my diagnostic uh, mind was the fact that as I pumped the pedal, the second one was always much firmer and much closer to the top of the pedal stroke. So that leads me to believe that there is still a air bubble in here somewhere. Now, the ABS system is the obvious place where that can get trapped in because as you open your hood and you look for your ABS pump and brake system, you'll see there's a lot of hoses going in and out of that thing. And that's where an air bubble can get trapped in there someplace. And it's hard to coax that sucker out of there. And that's when you need a tool like this to actually activate that pump while you have one of the bleeder valves open to help nudge that sucker on out of there. And that's what we're gonna do today and see if we can improve the pedal feel in this thing. And to reiterate, the brakes have been excellent on this thing. It's just that pedal feel down to the floor just doesn't feel confidence inspiring. So that's how I'm thinking that there is still a nagging air bubble in this. So let's set up and get to the bleeding. Generally, bleeding brakes is a two-person job, but I found that with my Motive Power Bleeder, I can get pretty decent results. This thing enables you to generate positive pressure inside the brake reservoir to take the place of somebody pumping the pedal. So in your scan tool, usually in special functions, we'll go in here and ABS bleeding is right here on the screen. We'll go ahead and select that. Select your model. We're gonna go ahead and hit Land Rover. Automatic detection, this is just getting the, activating the interface between the vehicle. And then you can see right here, brake bleed is our option. Let's do it. Pump the brake pedal during the entire bleed procedure. And that is where hopefully our power bleeder up there will help that since I'm gonna try to do this solo. So now it's just gonna tell us, open the rear left wheel bleed screw, pump the brake pedal during the entire bleed process. So let's go open the rear bleed screw and then we'll hit okay. And this is where actually having this wireless is, I'm gonna take this with me. So this is gonna be handy. Let's see how this goes. We're at the left rear of the vehicle and I'm gonna go ahead and open the bleed screw here. I like to keep my hose going up like this and then now we'll hit okay. See what happens here. Wait until the brake fluid is air bubble free. We're gonna close this, because I didn't see any air. Part left is open. Hit okay. No air bubbles out of there. All right, so we jumped over to the front right wheel. Oh, there is air coming out. Three, three bubbles came out of that thing. Right rear bleed screw open. Let's see what we get. Hit the okay. Didn't see any 
bubbles, pushed a little fluid. So that completes the bleed with the tuner. I'm gonna to top off the reservoir and I'm gonna just do a quick pressure bleed all the way around just to triple check and then we'll test the pedal. So we're just gonna go in reverse. Open. No air bubbles. Open this one. Solid, no air bubbles. Okay, looking good so far. No air bubbles. And finally, no air bubbles. Now for a quick test, let's hop in, give it a start. The pedal feels rock solid right now, but that's cheating. Let's see. Better. So all we gotta do now is test drive it. Let's see. Quick word of advice, after you do anything with your braking system, it's always good before you just haul tail out onto the highway, uh, get in, just move it a little bit and work the brake to make sure you have brakes. There's been several times where I've done stuff and you push the pads back and then the pedal goes to the floor the first time you expect a brake pedal. So that's just a quick bit of advice there. But my pedal right now, oh my gosh, actually grabs way sooner than it used to. But let's get it out here now that I have brakes and see how we feel. So we'll get over here and then just kind of give it a quick feel. Oh, yeah, there's a noticeable difference to the pedal. All right, so that little burp that we had in that right front was causing us all those headaches. So let's head on up here and just uh, put a few miles on and see how the pedal feels. So we'll scoot along here and get into the pedal. Wow, for a cold stop, <laughs> that's pretty good. So that definitely just makes me feel better. The brakes, like I said before, operated absolutely great. And actually for this vehicle, this is the normal brakes. They even have bigger brakes on the supercharged version of this. These things are pretty amazing. So there you go, I got into the ABS a little bit there just because I was getting so aggressive and the pedal feels noticeably firmer. So right there where I would do an extended foot on the pedal, it was it's where that thing used to settle pretty deep down there and I could actually notice I could roll my foot over to the gas pedal and now I can't and that's a good thing. So see how high up the pedal grabs? That's what I wanted all along. So for a year I've been driving this and again, function fine. I just knew there was something off. In my Jeep, I, it was a little bit more advanced. I had this problem about six, seven years ago with my Jeep and the redneck way of doing what we just did today is to go out to a dirt road and then just hammer, bleed the brakes, hammer into the ABS by just slamming on the brakes, activate the pump, run back home and bleed it again. And that actually worked. I do not recommend that as the right way. What we just did is the right way to do this. Oh yeah, much better. Oh, I'm very happy with this. And if you made it this deep, I always like to do in my videos, if you're new to the channel, um, catch up product reviews. I have 7,000 miles on the PowerStop Z36 pads and rotors on this thing, and they've been phenomenal. Even with that pedal, they've made this vehicle uh, remarkably good. And that's saying a lot because this thing really generates velocity. It's very peppy for a 5,000 pound SUV. So, Super high marks on that. The dust is completely manageable. Ooh, we got somebody coming at us over here. Oh, yeah. So I don't have to pump it to get a firm pedal. It's more consistent. There definitely was, as we saw, a bit of air in the ABS system. So this is how you get that out. And that's the proper way, with the right tool. 
what a really nice hour's worth of work to make the driving experience just perfect it just a little bit better. And this hopefully helps one of you guys that has been chasing this issue for a while. Get yourself a little diagnostic tuner, a bi-directional tuner. I'll put the one that I use in this video in uh, a link to that in the description. And until next time, thank you guys so much for coming along on this one and enjoy your drive. I am a little bit more. Thank you very much. Look at that brake pedal. Perfection down there. Ah, coming to a stop has never been so rewarding.